So for those who don't know, Neil Strauss is the guy who wrote this book, The Game. This book came out in 2005 and this is basically the thing that made picking up girls popular. It's important because this book is what made pickup artists mainstream. This book is what made mystery mainstream and all of the other pickup coaches that came after. So in this book, he tells the story of what happened when he joined the seduction community, when he met mystery and how his relationships with women changed once he started applying pick up techniques. Here is a video interview of him one year after the release of this book when he went live on TV to share about his findings and basically share about the pickup community and share how those guys basically revolutionized how it is to meet women. Hello Neil. Now hey. did you just do something magical to Jessica when you touched her or was that? I'm uh, taken out. You're taken out? Oh yeah sure you are. You're take you're not that taken though. Nobody's that taken. <laughs> I just say that's that's the best way. You're to right. Get a girl is you know what? Is a good, oh. You know what? That's the whole lesson of it. Is guys are always begging and pleading and being too available. And the best way to get someone is to pretend like you don't want it. Right? Yeah. Is that right? Because no, like, everyone likes a challenge. Men or women, you want to have to work for it, otherwise it has no value. He's setting the frame of the idea that an attractive guy is a guy who's not going to be too available for a woman. And at the time, this was really groundbreaking. At the time, most guys believed that to seduce a woman, you had to actually show her interest. You had to be nice with her. What millennials would call those days being a simp. At the time, bringing forth the idea that to be attractive, you actually had to be a little bit edgy, that you actually had to make yourself appear not too available was again groundbreaking. I see. So you'd say like, you say like, I think you're absolutely disgusting if you meet somebody. <laughs> You know what, man? Sometimes it's better than a generic compliment. Really? Later on in the video, he talks about the time he got Britney Spears' number. So you are able, I read an article which you like kind of like picked up, did you, you got Britney Spears' phone number, didn't you? True. True. <laughs> yes. So how, how did you manage that? I was doing this interview with her and it was all those yes, no, I don't care answers that she's kind of known for a little bit. And the gear just flipped in my head. I decided, you know what, the game has worked on everyone I've ever met. Whether, really? Whoever they are. So I just decided, started running it on her. And it's not hitting on her. It's showing you're interesting. It's, you know, being playful, teasing, and also like uh, just being more interesting than everyone else out there. He's saying that to be interesting to a woman in front of you, you have to be, well, breaking patterns a little bit. You have to be talking about stuff that she doesn't expect. You have to be talking about stuff that not every guy is going to talk about. And what he's saying there again is that he got her number by making the conversation about her by making it engaging, by making it interesting, by making it maybe a little bit surprising in the sense that this is not the kind of conversation you expect out of an interview. But the point is, again, he was a little bit edgy. He was a little bit polarizing and he was not nice and expected. Uh -huh. And so I started telling her about her body language. More interesting than Kevin Federline? I don't <laughs> think so. That would be quite a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you read her, what do you say you read her right, body like language? Like her eye movements, her body language, say what it means about her. One of these guys in this book, this guy named Ross Jeffries, who Tom Cruise's character is based on a magnolia, says one of the rules is demonstrate authority over her world. So I started telling her about herself and breaking it down. Oh, and really? then I did a little bit of uh, mind reading, a little bit of magic, and then she said, can we shut off the tape deck? And she started just sort of gushing and loading. And at the end of the interview, uh, she said, I'd like to exchange phone numbers. And that's when I realized that it kind of worked. Now it's interesting in order to put things back in perspective to understand that this Neil Strauss guy was already quite famous by the time he published the game. Before that, he was well known for, well, talking about celebrities in magazines. And he was well known for interviewing celebrities. So if you're a regular guy, you won't be able to get an interview with Britney Spears. But him at the time, already had some clout and was already very attractive by his status. And that's how he got an interview with Britney Spears. That's how he got the chance to basically try his pickup skills on Britney Spears. Yes, you don't seduce girls by being boring and expected, but at the same time, you won't get access to high quality girls if you don't have some status yourself. I was the guy who didn't have a date in high school. And I figured for college, I decided to go to Vassar College because it's a girl's school. I figured my odds were better there. Yeah. <laughs> Did you dress like a woman, like in Bosom Buddies? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Me and Tom Hanks. Uh -huh. And uh, 
and still nothing. No girlfriend, no dates, nothing. Really? So I figured all was not lost. I'm going to be this rock writer, go on the road with Motley Crue. He's very genuine in the way he's sharing value and in the way he's sharing stories. In my opinion, that's the good side of learning social dynamics and learning success with women. When you can just share value because you know what people find interesting. A lot of guys who are into pickup artistry, they just want to learn lines for the sake of sleeping with girls and basically taking value from the person in front of them. A way more natural way to do this is to share value and that's what he is doing there very well. Those stories generate attraction because those stories make the host and Jessica Alba very curious about what happens next. I figured all was not lost. I'm going to be this rock writer, go on the road with Motley Crue, have that backstage pass around my neck where anything can happen in this world, right? Right. And Tommy Lee was the only person I kissed. Oh, you kissed Tommy Lee? No tongue. <laughs> oh. But after that, I figured, you know what? Some guys have it, some guys don't. Uh -huh. And then I discovered these guys and kind of got taken under their wings. Why'd you kiss Tommy Lee, by yeah, the way? Yeah, it sounds like it's <laughs> like the wrong It was, sex it was here. on the cheek. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was on the cheek, okay. He's sharing value, he's sharing a story. It's all fun, it's genuine. But at some point, he talks about this one specific detail that's going to make everyone curious. He kissed. Tommy Lee. It looks very nonchalant, it looks very natural. He's just laid back, casually cool. They want to know what happens next. And because he's already onto something new, well, they have to chase him. They have to ask him what happened. And that in itself is making his perceived value higher than them. And that's what gets them to chase. He's sharing his personality. And from time to time, among the value that he's sharing, he's using those little things, those little techniques to get the people around him to be curious about him and to basically make himself attractive. Could you try it on, Jessica, would you mind? Um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't please, try it on a talk show. I, I didn't learn talk show game. Oh, is but, there a different game? But that's a, here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh -huh. there, there's, an, I, there's this idea that, you know, someone's beautiful, you gotta hit on them or something, but in LA, everyone's beautiful. Everyone beautiful comes to LA to try and make it, right? So if you're beautiful, so what? You got lucky in the gene pool, right? So if I was to ask you to name three things about yourself that would make me want to get to know you better, and none of them can be about your looks or what you do, what would they be? Um. What he does there is very interesting because we have the example of an egg and to basically getting a girl to invest in the conversation. To analyze this a little bit, he's basically telling her, okay, you're pretty, but every girl around here is pretty. What else do you have going on for you? That in itself is a pickup technique. If Neil Strauss was not Neil Strauss, if Neil Strauss was a random guy, and if this random guy was going up to Jessica Alba on the street, chances are that she wouldn't react that way. The context is important, the status of Neil Strauss is important, but also the techniques are important. There is more to it than just spewing lines, and there is more to it than using techniques, but all those things play together. I'm loyal. Right. Um, reliable. Right. And uh, <laughs> I said I can't do a lot of looks. And uh, and hardworking. That's awesome. Maybe we can hang out. No, but see the whole. That's awesome. And the whole, the whole thing about this. And those are great qualities. You see that he's having genuine fun with it. He knows that this is working, and he knows that this is a pickup technique. But he also made it his own. He's having genuine fun with it. The whole thing is guys are always trying to sell themselves to women. They're always trying to say brag about themselves and what they do for a living and instead you kind of got to flip the script make someone who has absolutely no interest in you start selling themselves to you and that's like one of the pieces wow but thanks for playing well <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah, wow. yeah. That, was that well, did you it, feel I, like that was effective in I, a way? I felt like that's just what um intelligent people that um i don't know that talk to me do they don't care so much about the physical and they do Exciting. actually look for more than that and no, so whether no, that's it's what a they guy tell you girl, <laughs> Well, true. the smart ones yeah. that uh, that do go further than, hi, yeah, you're crazy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, you have to look for more than that because yeah. at the end of the day... It's so cute because the way she reacts is so candid. In her mind, it's not, oh, a guy is coming up to me and trying to pick me up with techniques. In her mind, it's, oh, a guy is talking to me and he actually cares about me. He cares about making the conversation engaging. This is why pickup techniques and pickup routines work because they are engaging. They help the girl talk. They make her feel good. They help her invest in the conversation with you. If you go up to a girl and you're just bragging, if you go up to a girl and you state the obvious that she's attractive, okay, 
cool, but it's not engaging at all. Routines and pickup techniques are very good with that. They start the conversation and they keep it engaging. So for example, if you're a guy and you don't really know how to talk to women, you don't even really know how to make small talk with anyone whatsoever. Of course, the only thing you can do when you go up to a girl is to be like, hey, um, I think you're cute. Um, this is my name. What's your name? What do you do in life? And in truth, this doesn't work. If you want to seduce a woman, you have to start with attracting her. He does that very well there, though it's not obvious at all. He's starting by attracting her because he's there. He's the guest on a live TV show. Of course, he's interesting. Of course, he's attractive. On top of that, he's sharing interesting and fun stories. Then he builds on top of this initial attraction and this initial high elevated perceived status that he has by well, making the conversation engaging for the girl in front of him. On a surface level, you could think, oh my God, he said this, and then the girl started to react. Well, I'm gonna do the exact same. But there is more to it. And there is a whole plan of how seduction happens. To put it simply, first you wanna start by showing attractive qualities. And once the girl in front of you thinks and believes that you're attractive, you then want to start to get to know her and you then want to start to get her to invest in the conversation and to invest in the interaction with you which he's doing pretty well right there so to summarize that he first showed jessica alba that he was an attractive guy and then he made her invest in the conversation he's not just making her chase but he understands the different steps of seduction he understands that first you have to appear attractive and then you have to create an emotional connection and the pickup techniques are just there to make the process smoother the pickup techniques and the lines are just there to make it seamless it's not like you're gonna have this one magical line that's gonna get girls to chase you but having lines and understanding what girls react well to is basically going to make the world thing smoother. I'll go out and do it in real life and you'll see on sunset any night you can go down there and you'll see these guys they're all doing this stuff called peacocking they're all standing out they're all using the same routines and it's like the what guys. What is peacocking? Peacocking. <laughs> they have their own language by the way and I'll, I'll get a call from a guy and I'll say style was my name and I'll say hey I was uh, in a two set and I was trying to, to neg the target but I got IOIs from the obstacle should I have DHV or DLV? assuming she was an SHB 11. And that'll mean something. Yeah, wow. but it means you guys are nerds. Is <laughs> totally, totally nerds. He's talking exactly about those guys who believe that pickup techniques are going to get them laid by themselves. No, pickup techniques will make everything easier and smoother. And because you know where you are in the interaction, you're gonna be able to lead this to the outcome that you want easier and faster. But in itself, going to the club and hand spinning girls is not really gonna get you laid. So every time you wanna turn the lady, you switch your palm, palm to palm, you're looking at your watch. There, when you turn the lady, you want to always think about doing a halo around her head, a little circle uh, around her head. I went kind of all over the world when I was kind of in disguise as this and did it. Every country, and, and the same stuff works Really? The same social dynamics. Here, should I give you the, like, the basic broad strokes? Yeah, real quick, give us the broad strokes, yeah. All right, so instead of walking right up to the person you're interested in and hitting on her right away, mm -hmm. you approach the whole group. You win over the group of people. Mm -hmm. You almost push her away a little bit. If she's hit on a lot, physically sort of, shove her. Uh, mentally. <laughs> All right. You say, "Oh my God, is she always like that? How do you hang out with her? Oh my God." Mm -hmm. So you're kind of pushing her away. You're showing your friends that you're not hitting on her, and you win over her friends, and you'll slowly win her over. That's the basic idea. But they have literally they have this mapped out to a T. Guys will drop out of school. They'll drop out of college. I don't recommend it. What he's saying there makes a lot of sense. He's explaining how to go up to a girl when you're in a bar and she's in the middle of her group of friends. You don't want to go in there and be too direct. You don't want to go there and be like, hey, you're beautiful. I want to get to know you. Because if you do so, well, you're going to get so much resistance from everyone there. First, you're going to get resistance from the girl because she doesn't want to feel judged by her friends for reacting well to a guy who is that blunt. If there are female friends in the group, they will see you as a threat because you will try to take their friend away from them. And if there are male friends in the group, chances are pretty high that some of those guys are interested in this girl. And so they will try to cock block you in one way or another because they will feel jealous. So yes, when you go up to a girl in a group, it's always better to be indirect, to disarm any kind of resistance from her or from the group. Up to the point when she's going to see that you're super attractive because you're sharing fun, you're sharing value, and she's going to show 
interest. By the time she's showing you interest because she noticed that you're attractive because you displayed properly that you're attractive, then the friends won't be that much of a problem and then you will be able to get to know her and to let her know that you like her. Sounds like an interesting <laughs> book. It is called The Game. If you want to pick that up, Neil Strauss is the author. It's, uh, it's funny too. Thank you, Neil. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. Honestly, this book, The Game, is the book that showed me it was possible, even for a very regular guy, to learn what it is to be successful with women. If you read this book, you won't learn much, but you will see how some random regular dudes discover that it was possible to improve their results when it comes to dating women. Tell me what you thought about this video in the comments right below. Consider subscribing if you liked this video and I will see you guys next time.